Uh, hello, I'm Michael Collins, and I'm sitting here with a uh, Jim polymer dome that's been sitting on the ground for two years, and it shows no signs of any wear. Um, it's a maquette for a bigger building that could be built. It shows people what you can do by, this is a pneumatic form type um, building system, and usually if you're going over a couple meters, then you're getting into composite layers of different fabrics. Um, but the thing is, you see how it's, it's been asha washed, so no paint. That's one thing that's environmentally cool about it, but also the material itself um, takes in CO2. It doesn't put it out. Um, also, it gets harder through time, and uh, it's runoff while you're constructing it is non uh, alkali and so it actually makes plants grow so it's a, not an environmental disaster when you're building uh, and so your gardens around create get going quicker um, but anyway I originally we made a bunch of uh, uh, bunch of uh, buildings of this material and it's very quick setting it takes 15 minutes uh, so it's fast working and so uh, but also it takes uh, high temperatures no problem 900 uh, degree heat in a pizza oven format so the, this most pizza ovens are domes essentially so that's kind of where you add except you have insulation and then the same thing could go for building for people insulation and then another layer like this essentially uh, keep you warm and dry but another thing is, is very, very low expansion contraction coefficients. Like, uh, if I remember, it's uh, close to one, so very small movement um, compared to cement. Also, the grain structure is much tighter, and hence to, um, it, water just doesn't go through, um, which is a problem in some concrete noted for weeping water through, which is a problem, so that's why often it's sealed, whereas this stuff is self-sealing, it's, uh, geopolymers are unique, they're similar to your teeth. Um,